How do I know if I'm feeling gender kicks or just regular movement during pregnancy? Hello, everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about something really fascinating and quite mysterious, baby movements during pregnancy. You might have heard the term, gender kicks, and wondered if it's a real thing. Is there a way to distinguish between these so-called gender kicks and regular baby movements? Let's dive in to find out. What is regular baby movement? First, let's clarify what we mean by regular baby movement. Starting around 18 to 25 weeks into your pregnancy, you might begin to feel your baby moving. This is known as quickening. These movements can feel like a flutter, swish, or roll. As your baby grows, the movements will become more distinct and frequently felt. It's a normal part of pregnancy and a sign that your baby is actively moving and growing inside your womb. What are gender kicks? The term gender kicks has been floating around pregnancy forums and social media, and it refers to the idea that the type or strength of a baby's kicks in utero could indicate the baby's gender. However, there's no scientific basis for this claim. The baby's movements in the womb are not a reliable way to predict the baby's gender. Gender is determined by the chromosomes contributed at the time of conception and can't be influenced by the baby's movements. Factors influencing baby's movements While it's not possible to predict a baby's gender based on their movements, it's important to note that several factors can influence how much you feel your baby move. These include the baby's position, the amount of amniotic fluid, your weight, and where your placenta is located. When should you be concerned about baby's movements? It's essential to pay attention to your baby's movements. A decrease or change in movement patterns could be a sign that the baby is not well, and you should contact your healthcare provider right away. It's a good practice to count the kicks starting at 28 weeks for all pregnant women. A common method is the count to 10 feet method, which involves counting the time it takes to feel 10 distinct movements. If you don't feel 10 movements in two hours, you should contact your healthcare provider. While it's fun to speculate about your baby's gender based on kicks and movements, it's important to remember that these theories aren't backed by science. The most important thing is to monitor your baby's movement patterns and report any changes to your healthcare provider. Always remember, every pregnancy is unique and every baby moves differently. We hope this video was helpful and provided you with the information you need. Take care and enjoy your pregnancy journey.